Chateauneuf de Pop is a region in the southern road of France that's known for big, fruity, meaty red wines. But do you know that they also produce whites? Learn more in this video. Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky, coming to you live, well not live really, but coming to you from the Villa Familia in Istria, Croatia. This is kind of the end of our lockdown period uh, during this whole coronavirus thing. I hope the world starts to open up and uh, we can we can kind of travel outside of Croatia soon, but it's been a great month here. Uh, you, you see the villa, you saw, that's why you saw that little introductory video. But let's talk about the white wines of Chateauneuf du Pop. Most people, most collectors know about the reds of Chateauneuf du Pop, and for good reason. That's about 94% of the production of all wine Chateauneuf du Pop is red, with about 6% being white. Chateauneuf du Pop is a crew village in the Southern Rhone. You know, it's named, uh, it named literally translates to New Castle of the Pope. Uh, when, when the Pope built his castle and moved from Rhone to the nearby, the nearby city of Avignon uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So the cool thing, the weird thing about Chateauneuf de Pop is you can blend a ton of grapes. It used to be 13 but is in 2009, 2010, they changed it to 18 permitted grape varieties that you can put in the blend. So you can even mix white grapes into red grapes to create red Chateauneuf de Pop. That's why they have a, a number of light-skinned grapes. In the recent years, the quality has grown of white wines. They're very, they're very rare, very hard to see. They're not cheap. They're a little more expensive. For the longest time, when when we were starting to get more and more into wine. I had not tasted a white Chateauneuf de Pop because they were so hard to find. Uh, the last couple of years, <laughs> I've been going there tasting more. We just were working on a big Chateauneuf de, de Pop report, so we had a bunch sent to us. Got a chance to taste through them. So what kind of wine grapes are you going to see in white Chateauneuf de Pop or Chateauneuf de Pop Blanc? There are four main grape varieties you're going to see. The main grapes you're going to see are Roussan. Grenache Blanc, Berbalanc, and Claret. There are also some minor clones of those grapes that are actually permitted, and that's Claret Rose, which is a, a, a pink skin version of Claret. You're going to have Grenache Gris, gray skin Grenache. Two types of Picpoul, a grape that they actually use in Languedoc, uh, Picpoul, Picpoul Gris and Picpoul Blanc, as well as Picardin. So very cool. Uh, Picpoul brings up some more acid in these grapes. So that's really cool. The cool thing about Chateauneuf de Pop, which is unusual for both reds and whites, you can blend all these grapes together. Or within the Appellation, you can create a wine that's 100% of any of those grape varieties, which is really cool. So it gives producers uh, a lot of chances to blend, to change styles. You know, even for reds, it's hard to nail down a, a the, the real style of Chateauneuf de Pop because there's so many flavors. You can have riper fruit. You can have more leaner style. You can have a little bit more oak, less oak. The same of the white wines too because you can use some of the different grapes. So some of these white wines can be absolutely world, world class. And one of the most memorable white wines I've ever had is Chateau Beaucastel, uh, the Roussan Vievin which is an extraordinary 100% barrel fermented Roussan. In the recent pack, we sent one that really impressed me. I tasted this out of barrel and out of cement earlier. This is the Domaine Chante Segali x 2018 uh, Chateauneuf de Pop Blanc, Roussan Grenache Blanc, uh, and it's half in big oak and half in a cement egg, and then they blend it really, really cool. One thing that was also very good during this is the Domaine de Chanceau. This is a Chateauneuf de Pop Blanc 2018. Really, really, really good. So what is the style? There's going to be a lot of different flavors, so it's really hard, hard to knock down a style. And also producers can make it stainless steel to make crispier, fresher white wines, or they can do some barrel fermentation, some fermentation in stainless steel or concrete, and then blend everything together. So the style is going to run the gamut. One thing that you are going to see, these wines are going to be full-bodied, big, 
and a little bit lower in acidity. So for those of you that like Riesling, Sauvignon Blancs, these wines might not uh, appeal to your palate. Those that like big barrel fermented oaky Chardonnays, you might be able to find your place here. Uh, this, these white wines are fascinating. You know, in the past they were oxidated. They were, they were not very good. And in the recent years, now they're excellent. One thing about Chateauneuf de Pop Blanc, I don't think the quality is, is as uniform as Red Chateauneuf de Pop. Red Chateauneuf de Pop, almost any producer, I feel like you can trust any of their wines really, really good. White Chateauneuf de Pop is kind of all over the place, can be outstanding, can be, uh, can be good, but not uh, not blowing my face off. I'm gonna taste one here and see if it, it gives the the typical type of flavors. This is the La Bastide Saint Dominique Chateauneuf de Pop Chapelle 2019. This is a hundred percent Claret Rosé. So I think in French it might be Claret Rose in French because there's now there's no hyphen on top there. Uh, partially partially barrel fermented partially in steel and concrete. So let's give this a little bit of a smell here. It's 2019, so it's fresh, but I am getting a kind of Rusa notes when I smell this. When I say that, you're going to think uh, kind of white peach notes, a lot of flint, almost like those baked sunstones that you, you see outside in the sun. That's where you're picking up lime. A little bit of yogurt. Really, really not, 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 not too bad. Let me get, let's give this whirl. Wow, typical Chateauneuf de Pont Blanc. And what I mean by that, it is rich, unctuous, powerful. I mean, think about it. If you're drinking a lot of like supermarket white wines, think of that as skim milk. This, uh, this Chateauneuf de Pont Blanc, more premium wine, it's almost like heavy cream feeling in your mouth. Acidity is not super high. It's a little bit oaky. But not over the top. You can taste the hints of oak. This is 2019, though, so still super young. Lots of intensity, lots of flavor. I'm going to follow along with this, taste this even more. I think this is a type of wine that's a, a 91, 91, maybe a 92-point type wine. I'll have to taste over it in, before I have my final score. So one thing also about these Chateauneuf de Pop Blancs, most producers, these wines are meant to be drunk on the younger side. It's a little bit hotter in the Southern Rhone. Uh, grapes tend to have less acidity. Uh, there are some great examples, like I said, the Bocastel, both the Chateauneuf de Pot Blanc and the Roussin Vieux Vines can age for a long, long time. So let me know in the comments below, have you had any sh uh, white Chateauneuf de Pop, Chateauneuf de Pot Blanc before? Do you have any favorite producers? Put it in the comments below. Stay tuned to our for our report on our website about white Chateauneuf de Pop. And guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. Click the bell so you know when new videos come out. And I will see you in the next episode.